Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam and today we are going to learn how to add richness to your voice when you are recording YouTube videos. I use Camtasia to produce the presentations along with an insert window where you can see me talking like in this particular video. But today I am going to focus on the audio part of the video presentation for YouTube. In order to get the best audio quality for your YouTube uh, programs, uh, you have to use a separate audio recording program and that's what I do. While recording my presentations, uh, say for example PowerPoint presentations, at the same time I am recording uh, audio on a separate uh, track uh, using Audacity. Audacity is a free software. You can just simply download it uh, from uh, Google search and download it. and you'll be ready to go in no time. It takes probably 5 to 10 minutes and that's a totally different program altogether. I have already downloaded the, the Audacity as you can see here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to first record a sample of this presentation and show you how to add simple audio effects to get one of the best presentations that you possibly can and then you take this audio into your uh, video editing software either Camtasia, Adobe Premiere, then you sync this audio with the original audio track that was recorded uh, on the Adobe Premiere or Camtasia and then delete the original track or mute it so that you have a perfect audio to go with your perfect video for YouTube, for your YouTube presentations. So let us record a small segment and I'll show you some of the audio effects that we can apply that can make a dramatic difference as how the audio quality, you want the audio quali quality to project through the device, whatever they are watching, smartphone or iPad or uh, any notepad or a big computer. You want the voice to come right from the center, or project into the audience. Okay, let us start. Enough of talking. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam and we have a fascinating program today. Today we are going to be talking about how to improve the audio quality on our YouTube recordings. So I have just recorded this statement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this for a moment so that we, I am going to show you how to change the, the quality, the timbre and the resonance of this voice before this is linked into the original video so that when the composite video is compiled, you have the best video and the audio to attract your listeners and keep their attention throughout the entire video presentation. Okay, I pause this one and let's get to the beginning of this and let's quietly listen to the quality of the unadulterated audio. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam and we have a fascinating program today. Today we so you get the picture. So uh, I'm going to highlight this segment here. And I'm going to show you, the, my soundtrack is pretty clear, so I don't really need to remove any noise, but I'm going to show you how to remove the noise if you have a lot of static, 60 cycles uh, static in your program. You go to effects here, then we say noise reduction. Under noise reduction, since I have highlighted this segment, I will tell it to get the sample from this segment. So this has taken the sample from this segment. Next step is to highlight the entire audio track. Go back to noise reduction. Now I'm going to tell it to reduce this noise reduction throughout the entire audio track. Okay, it has removed and as you can see the line is perfectly flat or very thin that means it has removed all the extraneous noises especially if you are having a lot of uh, reverberations that's the time but in, in my case the distortion was very limited okay let's after this first change let us listen to the audio well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nick. It, it sounds a little better but the sounds looks like it's coming from a distant the volume is really low and you know you cannot really grasp it so how are you going to improve this the next step is highlight this track go to audio effects and do some compression. C 
compression is usually preset by audacity just simply you can press preview to hear the sound well, ladies and gentlemen welcome to triple n media i am dr nick nickam and okay all of a sudden now you can see how the voice is coming more to the front of the the te television or the smart device so that the voice really gets into your heart and mind when you listen compared to the previous one let me show you the first one and show you the difference again okay it's already changed so now let's look at the change the ladies and gentlemen welcome to triple n media i am dr nick nickam okay so you can see the difference already because just one simple change of a compression the audio the second step we are going to do is equalization and equalization uh, sometimes we can change this equalization we can put some uh, in that way we cut down all these low frequency sounds which we don't want and also anything beyond 5000 frequencies we don't really need and we reduce those and we can get a preview you can just play with each one of these parameters to the to your heart's so content ladies and gentlemen, welcome see to it's even even media sounding media better Dr. Nick no i'm not trying to say i sound better i'm just saying the quality of the sound is better please don't get me wrong so we did this one so if we started off with compression we did equalization and if your voice has very highs and lows like say for example in music you can come here and you can normalize just use the presets to start with then let's listen to this one well, ladies and gentlemen welcome to triple n media i am dr nick, nick. what it does is it normalizes the uh, sound throughout the entire 30 minute or one hour presentation so that it is not, you don't have big jumps in yeah Ooh! no you don't want to hear like that do you so let's fix this one all right now let's start off again we did the compression we did the equalization we normalized the sound and we removed the noise using noise reduction and one more thing we want to do is reverberation reverberation i can't even get that word right reverberation reverberation is the most important thing especially for male voice to get that rich guttural voice i like what i'm talking right now you know i don't know why it is attractive to people but that's what you have to do so here Oh, just use the presets. I set the room size to be small because everybody who watches these video, YouTube videos, they are one on one. That means one person watching it. So you don't want a hall with thousand people. That's you get a lot of echo. That's worthless. So you want a small room, maybe ten to fifteen people. Then you set some of these reverberation. I just want twenty five percent of reverberation. And there are a lot of parameters here. You can play with them, but just use the presets. Now let's listen to the preview with the reverb. Uh, before I do that, let's cancel that. Now let's listen to the audio without the reverb. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam. This is already sounding fairly good enough because the voice is projected to the front of the screen and let's go and see if we can add a little reverb and what happens now let's check the preview well ladies and gentlemen welcome to triple n media i am dr nick nickam and okay and uh, let's see if you like this one well ladies and gentlemen welcome to triple n media i am dr nick nickam and you probably have to spend a day or two just working on all this uh, options like compression controller uh, noise reduction and reverb and I'd keep adjusting these numbers until the voice sounds real rich and vibrant to your ears then we can go say okay there you go well, ladies and gentlemen welcome to triple n media i am dr nick nickam and we have a fascinating program today Today we are going to be talking about how to improve the audio quality on our YouTube recordings. So I have just recorded this statement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this. Okay, so now you can hear it. To me, it sounds a little bit distant compared to before reverb. If I don't like it, I can just go to Control and Z. I, I think it is Control. I have to find out here. Uh, redo reverb okay so that was this is 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this is with redo reverb. Now you can go back and uh, undo reverb. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nicker. Okay, the reverb has a lot of features and you have to play with each one of those uh, options to see how best you can add a lot of reverberations and you get the voice in front. After having done this, if the volume is low, what we can do is since the track is already highlighted, we can amplify this volume if you want. Like I have one decibel, let's preview this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N. Okay, let's go to, so you can increase it by one decibel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. Let us cancel this and then see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Okay, if you want to increase the amplification, we can just drag this. I guess it only goes by one. Let's see, maybe it will go two. Let's listen to this preview. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickham. And that sounds good. So, I mean, now you see it increases the uh, uh, amplification. So, here's the final one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickham and we have a fascinating program. Okay, then what you do is you create an MP3, you ex export this audio to, of course, uh, it's going to be waveform because in order to do an MP3, you have to download an MP3 extension which you can find it from the Audacity website. So right now I'm just going to say test audio. Let's leave it there and it's going to be saved as a Microsoft waveform and we want to save it in a place where we can see it. We go to, yeah, let's just save it here. Okay, save it here. Probably saved it. So let's go back to our hard drive D and here's the Emerald. And here's our waveform. So, it's the final product. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickham, and we have a fascinating program today. Today, we are going to be talking about how to improve the audio quality on our YouTube recordings. So, I have just recorded this statement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this for a moment so that we, I am going to show you how to change the, the quality, the timber and the resonance of this voice uh, before. Okay, so you get the picture. I mean, this is just a trial run. Once you set all these things to your desired heart's content, uh, then you simply leave those settings and every time you do a recording, you just bring those settings into this uh, new recording and all of a sudden you got a rich voice uh, to go along with your video. I hope this has been useful to you and then please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave your comments and thank you so much for watching. I am Dr. Nick Nickham and this is uh, Triple N Media. Thank you so much.